Hi there, my name is Jack the Fallout and today we are going to be discussing the top 5 VR games that make you feel like an absolute badass. Virtual reality is a wonderful thing that lets you experience many different things in many different forms. And some of those things can be the most action-packed epic moments you have ever experienced in your life. Starting with number 5. Skyrim VR. In normal Skyrim, fighting a dragon is fun, yeah? An action-packed battle with a fire-breathing, scaly beast. But once you boot up Skyrim VR, slap on a few mods, the game becomes what was an underwhelming VR port to one of the best. The act of going face-to-face -face with a fire-breathing monster is something fantasy nerds have been dreaming of since dragons were thought up. Having to block the flame attacks with your shields and get a hit in whenever possible, pull out your bow and draw a couple of pot shots and hopefully that beast will fall from the sky. A dragon is a foe you do not want to underestimate. It's one of those things you can only dream of experiencing and this is the closest thing you can actually come to fighting a real dragon. Unless you want to spend £842, travel to South America, dress up as a sloth and wait in the treetops for a harpy eagle to attack you before engaging it in melee combat and stabbing the arrogant prick in the chest <laughs> only to get arrested by police officers for disturbing endangered wildlife and your subsequent punishment is to spend 15 years in a federal prison in South America and then you're forced to have sexual relations with a butch Latina lady with a penis and she really likes eagles so you're gonna get it rough <sighs> number four is Bone Lab and not the prison you've just come from. Well, yes, Bone Lab was a little bit of a disappointment with the story basically being, hey, look, here are a bunch of really annoying mini games. Oh, surprise, now you can mod the game. Uh, Bone Lab has that one really cool level that sticks out to me, and that is the fight section. Okay, you're strong now. In this level, you are tasked with going through the level fighting off a lot of foes in good old fist-to-fist -fist combat. And this feels good because it makes you feel like an action superhero guy. It feels really, really good, and it gives you your action movie fight scene kick, and I quite like that a lot. So smacking the ever-living shit out of people that stand in your way is good for me. And oh, when you add mods to the equation, well you can become anyone you want. Or if you if you really want to change things up, Adam Smasher. You won't leave here alone. You look like a fucking little misery, mate. This lets you live out certain fantasy fight scenes that you've always wanted to do but never actually been able to. And this is one of the beauties of VR. You can become literally anyone, providing someone's made a mod for it. Number three. Blade and Sorcery. I could make a whole video just about how Blade and Sorcery makes you feel badass, but for the take, take, sake of your take, 
but for the sake of your time, we are going to be focused on the most popular mod, the Outer Rim, made by the very talented Kingo64. This Star Wars mod is something my younger self could only have ever dreamed of. To have that feeling of sparking up a lightsaber for the first time, it's that childlike excitement. It's something that really gets you in the feels, because this is the closest most of us will ever get to wielding a real lightsaber. And with the abilities to engage enemies in epic battles, you can do some absolutely mind-bending shit. You can feel like a Jedi, a Sith, a bounty hunter, anything really, it's incredible. With the addition of other mods, you can fight droids as Darth Vader even if you want to. Not always, but very occasionally, you will pull off an absolutely incredible move and you will feel so cool in that moment. It's a badass feeling that keeps you coming back for more and more. And yes, there are official Star Wars games out there, but honestly, this mod has the best feeling lightsabers out of all of them. And this is an unofficial mod, it's incredible and I love it so much. Number two is Half-Life Alex. I'm going to give a slight spoiler warning here because I'm going to be showing footage from towards the end of the game. And this section was originally going to be the zoo level because that level stuck with me all of these years. You know, the section where you fight the ant lions. And then I remembered the ending. So democracy can wait. One of the last levels, you end up trapped in this metal tube thing. And I can't remember how or why, but you end up sucking up this green lightning and zapping the combine like it's going out of fission. Ah, get it? Fission! It's one of those rare moments in video games that when it's happening you are just there grinning with excitement and happiness because in this short section you feel so powerful. And that's fun being a mere mortal. So that's why this is number two. And finally, it's number one which is The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. This one is a double-edged sword because on one hand you can go into an area healthy and you can feel super cool cutting down the undead. But on the other, as time passes, you start to feel quite helpless. But that also feeds into the badass feeling in a very odd way. Your health is low, you're being grappled by multiple undead, but by all of the odds stacked against you, you defeat every single last one of them, giving you the confidence to carry on fighting. This is the ultimate survival experience that doesn't give you too much, but just enough to keep on going. This game literally makes you feel like a character from The Walking Dead. And you are doing everything you can to keep on surviving. And if that's not badass, I don't know what is. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching the video all the way to the end. This has been the top 5 VR games that make you feel like an absolute badass. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give this video a like and maybe you want to subscribe. I'll hopefully see you very soon. Bye for now.
So I've got my sword out. And you can block the attack. And you have to seal it. And now <laughs> I have a completely...